sense, right? Okay. And uh, thank you to Pauni Madam for the encouragement words. Like, uh, as Madam said, um, when you move to the engineering, you'll, you'll, you need to deal with uh, mathematics. Any, any model you take, but when it comes to the end, you'll end up with a mathematical uh, equations. And uh, those equations you need to uh, solve. Okay, here I brought you a few uh, mechanical systems or uh, civil engineering problems or electrical engineering problems in which uh, these mathematical equations are involved. Uh, I hope uh, you, you'll enjoy the session. Uh, go to the slide, let me move to the presentation. So here are the topics I have included that you have studied in PUC. Okay. As see this presentation is prepared keeping uh, PUC students in mind, like you are the people who have seen uh, uh, the introduction to derivatives and integrations and now you are learning uh, differential equations, right? So the most of the topic, I mean most of the things I included from differential equations, the models which gives you the differential equations. And before that, let's have just a recall. Uh, we have studied applications of derivatives, right? And what are the applications? Let us say if you have a function. Uh, you are, let's say you are running a business or something, uh, you'll come up with a profit function. We'll be interested in knowing where you'll get the maximum profit or where you'll get the minimum profit, right? And uh, where if the function increases, decreases, how do you know all of them? Like by applying simple uh, derivatives, right? So you take the derivative when it is positive, you say it is increasing, when it is negative, you say it is decreasing, right? And similarly, you have seen applications of integration like in calculating volumes. If you know the cross-section area, you can calculate volume of the dead and dead solid. Right? Like it's focused on custom. And also, mm -hmm. it's focused on custom. Right? And uh, mass of the state. Let's say if you know the density, if you know the density of a string, then you can find its mass by integrating its density. Right? Like this is some uh, surface will be formed. One will be interested in knowing its surface area or the volume which encloses. Okay. Or let us say we would like to create a cone in which we would like to have some amount of ice cream. One liter amount of ice cream we would like to have. Okay. So now I need to design my cone in such a way that I will have one, one liter volume of ice cream. Right. So that is how I would like to design. Right. Yeah, these, are, these are all the things you have seen. And now you are studying differential equations. Let us see applications related to that. Move to the next slide. Okay. So uh, when you are coming to campus, like you travel on buses or some other vehicles, right? If, if the road is not good, then what happens? All of us will be with body, body pains when you when you reach the campus, right? Let us say one travels on Volvo bus and another travels on some other bus, like uh, an ordinary bus, right? So what about their situation, the one who travels on Volvo bus and the one who travels on ordinary bus? I hope uh, I mean, most of you are traveling in uh, ordinary buses, but in future, you are not, not, not even in Volvo bus, you must be uh, having your own cars, right, to travel. Okay. So now, what is the major thing that makes the difference? When the road is not good, why the, this guy is getting uh, pains and why the other guy is not getting pains? Is that something called shock absorbers, right? If you have a good enough shock absorber, then then your journey will be comfortable. And not only that, there are many factors, but I, we can say that this is the major one, which takes the shocks, right? So let me discuss about this mass pain system first. When you have a string, you attach a mass to it. So here, I'd like to study the position of the mass. Right? Initially, it is an equilibrium position. When you attach it, it, uh, it, it, it came down. Okay. So now, at time here, I'd like to see what is what is its position. Right? So about spring, you know, Hooke's law. What Hooke's law says? The force is uh, proportional to the displacement, right? So, so the restoring force will come here. The restoring force is equal to minus kh because it moves the upwards. And what is the force due to uh, mass? From Newton's second law, you know that it is mass into acceleration, right? 
So that is uh, n into d square x by dx. So if, if you take x as a position, and the acceleration will be given by d square x by dt square, right? So now, what is the resultant equation for this system? These two forces are going to be equal. So finally, we end up with a second order differential equation, right? So now, if you want to know the position of that system or the position of that mass, you need to know what is x, what is x at time t, okay? Or if you want to model, if you want to design a mass spring system, then you, you need to know um, for for mass n equal to one kg, what is the spring constant I need to take? Okay, so to see that, you need to solve the system, right? And next, yeah, this is one example of a mass spring system. Do you know old Chapex, old scooter, right? In which uh, that is how sing, uh, spring is, uh, I mean, attached to a seat. Okay, but nowadays for bikes you cannot we cannot find uh, I mean those springs but those springs are attached at the wheel itself they are stopping the shocks at wheel itself they are not uh, going to uh, the seat right the next now here we, we have another system which includes damper you know uh, bike bike suspension right the, which involves three components what are they one is spring and the one is the damper which is inside right uh, and the one is a mass, the uh, I mean, weight of the bike, uh, the person weight you can take. So here we can see that when you travel on a road, if the road is not good, those shocks will be taken by the shock observers, right? You can see a picture there, or you can see an animation there. Right. So now let, let us see what is the, how uh, the response of the system is noted. Okay. So here there is one, one extra factor which comes here, what is it? the damping force, the damper we introduce. So the damping force can be calculated using that, like the damping force will be proportional to its velocity, right? So that is uh, minus C times dx by dt, when you know position is x, its velocity will be calculated by its derivative, right? So next. So now final, uh, the final equation is going to be the total force will be equal to the restoring force and the damping force. So finally, we'll end up with the second order ODE. Okay, this is a second order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients. Yeah, so far you have studied how to solve first order differential equations. And after it, you are going to see how to solve second order differential equations. Okay. And let us see what are the possible solutions here, depending upon M, C, and K. Okay. So here, if you know that C squared minus 4 MK is positive, then you will get such a solution. I hope you have seen the reverse way. Given a uh, uh, orbit, I mean, uh, given a function with two orbital uh, constants, and you have derived the differential equations, right, by eliminating those orbital constants. Did you remember a into e power x plus b into e power two x? What is its differential equation? That you have done, but you did not see the reverse process. You're going to see. You're going to learn in future, right? So here, when you know that c square minus four mk is positive, this is a one possible solution. That's not just one solution, it is it is actually a bunch of solutions, a two-parameter family, right? Next. So when it is negative, and uh, the solution is going to involve a trigonometry function, okay? So here, the critical damping is going to occur, right? In the first case, uh, in the first case, over damping is going to occur. I mean, in the first case, it is over damping, and in the last place, it is under damping. Next. Yeah, are the shock observers only used for bikes and vehicles? We can find them for bridges as well. Okay, it is it is not that only mechanical. 